नमस्ते वेलकम टू सेकेंड वीडियो ऑन इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑन लेबोरेटरी इन्वेस्टिगेशन इन लास्ट वीडियो वो है डिस्कस्ड ऑन कंप्लीट ब्लड काउंट स्पेशली ऑन आर बी सी स्टडीज इन दिस वीडियो वो विल डिस्कस ऑन डब्ल्यू बी सी एंड प्लेटलेट स्टडीज वी विल ऑल्सो डिस्कस ऑन सम टिपिकल केस सीनेरियोज एंड लैब रिपोर्ट्स आई एम डॉक्टर महेश हिरूलाल असोसिएट प्रोफेसर एस टी एम कॉलेज ऑफ आयुर्वेदा हासन इन द लास्ट वीडियो वो हैड स्पेशली डिस्कस्ड ऑन आर बी सी स्टडीज एच बी आर बी सी काउंट हिमेटोक्रीट एम सी वी एम सी एच एम सी एच सी एंड आर डी डब्ल्यूज वेर यूज टू डायग्नोज द डिफरेंट आर बी सी डिसऑर्डर्स इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट डब्ल्यू बी सी एंड प्लेटलेट्स डब्ल्यू बी सीज आर द मेजर सेल्स इन्वॉल्व इन इम्यूनिटी द डब्ल्यू बी सीज आर डिवाइडेड इन टू फैगोसाइट्स एंड द इम्यूनोसाइट्स ऑन मार्फोलॉजिकली दे आर डिवाइडेड इन टू ग्रेनुलोसाइट्स एंड अ ग्रेनुलोसाइट्स टोटल व्हाइट ब्लड सेल काउंट एंड डिफरेंशियल काउंट्स वेर यूज टू डायग्नोज एंड प्रोग्नोज द डिफरेंट डिसीज टोटल व्हाइट ब्लड सेल काउंट टी सी और ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज टोटल ल्यूकोसाइट काउंट इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ डब्ल्यू बी सीज प्रेजेंट इन अ गिवन वॉल्यूम ऑफ ब्लड द नॉर्मल रेंज ऑफ टोटल काउंट इज फोर थाउजेंड टू लेवन थाउजेंड सेल्स पर माइक्रोलीटर ब्लड कंटेंट्स डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डब्ल्यू बी सीज डिफरेंशियल काउंट इज द परसेंटेज ऑफ ईच टाइप ऑफ डब्ल्यू बी सीज प्रेजेंट इन द ब्लड द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डब्ल्यू बी सीज एंड इट्स नॉर्मल वैल्यूज आर न्यूट्रोफिल्स फोर्टी टू सेवेंटी परसेंट लिम्पोसाइट्स ट्वेंटी टू फोर्टी परसेंट योसिनोफिल्स वन टू फोर परसेंट बेसोफिल अबाउट वन परसेंट मोनोसाइट्स अबाउट टू टू एट परसेंट दिस इज जनरली एक्सप्रेस्ड इन परसेंटेज द एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यूज ऑफ दीज डिफरेंशियल काउंट्स कैन ऑल्सो बी मेजर बाई द हेमेटोलॉजी एनालाइज इफ डब्ल्यू बी सी काउंट इज इनक्रीज देन इट्स कॉल्ड एज ल्यूकोसाइटोसिस If WBC count is reduced, then it's called as leukopenia. It is the first step in the interpretation of WBC studies in CBC. Leukocytosis may occur due to the excessive release of WBCs from the reservoirs, or by the increased production of WBCs. Increased WBC count suggests infection and inflammation in tissue necrosis, like. mi burns and in gangrenes who may observe the high wbc counts in many immunological disorders there will be the high wbc counts the physical or the emotional stress will also lead for increase in wbcs certain medications will increase the wbc counts extreme high wbc counts can be seen in bone marrow diseases like leukemia the increased wbc count has to be interpreted with differential count increase in neutrophil count is called as neutrophilia which will indicate the acute infection and inflammatory condition the increased neutrophils are most commonly seen in bacterial infection both in pyogenic and in non pyogenic bacterial infection there will be the increased neutrophils metabolic disorders like uremia acidosis gout diabetes and eclampsias may lead for high neutrophils myeloproliferative disorders like myeloid leukemia will also lead for neutrophilia increased cell destructions like in hemolysis mi and in cvas we can observe the increase in neutrophils drug intoxication and food poisoning will also lead for increase in neutrophils physical injuries post operative status fractures and in the burns we can observe the neutrophilia increase in lymphocytes is called as lymphocytosis which is the most common indication of viral infections the viral infections like mumps measles chickenpox rubella infective hepatitis and in the influenzas we can see the 
increase in lymphocytes there are some exceptional bacterial infections like tuberculosis where we can see the increase in lymphocytes in non hodgkin's lymphoma chronic lymphatic leukemias and in multiple myelomas there may be the increase in lymphocytes increase in eosinophils is called as eosinophilia which is most commonly observed in allergic reactions like allergic rhinitis exploratory dermatitis urticaria and in bronchial asthmas in parasitic infections like in intestinal worms we can observe the eosinophilia some skin conditions like dermatitis herpetiformis scabies may lead for increase in eosinophils the drugs like penicillin streptomycin may lead for eosinophilia the specific leukemias like eosinophilic leukemias in hodgkin's lymphoma and in some autoimmune disorders we can observe the increase in eosinophils monocytosis is the increase in monocytes which is seen in some conditions like tuberculosis subacute bacterial endocarditis kalazar typhus and in infectious mononucleosis increase in basophils is a rare condition it can be seen in chronic inflammatory conditions and in chronic myeloid leukemia decrease in total wbc count is called as leukopenia the leukopenia may occur due to the decreased production of the wbc cells or the increased destruction of wbc cells leukopenia is most commonly seen in viral infections which suppresses the bone marrow some specific autoimmune disorders like the lupus certain cancers and the diseases affecting the bone marrow it may be the resultant of chemotherapy and radiotherapy decrease in neutrophils is called as neutropenia the neutropenia has to be confirmed with the estimation of absolute neutrophil counts if the neutrophil counts is less than 2000 cells per cubic mm then it can be considered as neutropenia the neutropenia is most commonly seen in typhoid fever viral infections like measles and the influenza aplastic and iron deficiency anemias and certain medications and the autoimmune disorders can cause the neutropenia typhoid fever is an uh, exceptional bacterial infection where we can observe the low wbc low neutrophils but there may be the increase of lymphocytes which is called as relative lymphocytosis reduced count of lymphocytes is called as lymphopenia which can be seen in excessive radiation in immunodeficiency conditions in immunosuppressive drugs and in the chemotherapy treatments and in some specific autoimmune disorders reduced number in eosinophils basophils and monocytes typically does not carries any clinical significance but can be seen in some cases of severe stress or in excessive use of corticosteroids platelets are also called as thrombocytes are a small colorless cells the major function of platelet is blood clotting the normal range of platelet is from 1.5 lakh to 4.5 lakhs per microliter increase in number of platelets is called as thrombocytosis the primary or essential thrombocytosis is may be due to the over production of the platelets from the bone marrow which may lead for thrombosis chronic inflammatory diseases like rheumatoid arthritis some cancers and myeloproliferative disorders may lead for thrombocytosis reactive or secondary causes for thrombocytosis are iron deficiency anemia trauma post surgery and splenectomy decreased platelet count is called as thrombocytopenia decreased production of platelets in the bone marrow can lead for thrombocytopenia bone marrow disorders like aplastic anemia leukemia can lead for thrombocytopenia nutritional deficiencies viral infection 
chemotherapy and radiation therapy can lead for thrombocytopenia increased destruction of platelets will lead for thrombocytopenia the immune disorders like idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpuras and the lupus may lead for thrombocytopenia certain medications like the heparin and anticonvulsants will lead for thrombocytopenia the most common infection which will lead for the thrombocytopenia is the dengue fever in malaria and even in the septicemia we can observe the destruction of platelets and leading for thrombocytopenia now we will discuss some typical case scenarios and probable cbc report kindly guess the probable diagnosis and you can comment in the comment box later onwards you can check the correct answer from the video description a female patient aged about 35 years complaining of persistent fatigue shortness of breath on exertion and frequent dizziness since 2 months on general examination pallor is present heart rate is 96 per minute and mild systolic murmur is heard on cardiac auscultation cbc report shows reduced hp reduced hematocrit and reduced mcv guess the probable diagnosis in another case patient presenting the similar symptoms in cbc report if hb is reduced hematocrit is reduced and mcv is increased then what will be the probable diagnosis a 30 year male patient had rta which caused loss of blood on examination pallor is present rapid and feeble pulse and the low bp is recorded in this patient the probable cbc is reduced hp reduced hematocrit and the normal mcv what will be the probable diagnosis a middle aged male patient complaining of fever cough and difficulty in breathing since 5 days on examination temperature is 1 or 2 degree fahrenheit pulse rate is 110 beats per minute respiratory rate is 26 breath per minute on respiratory auscultation crackles were heard on the lower lobes bilaterally and oxygen saturation is 90% in this patient this is the cbc report increased wpc count and the increased neutrophils what will be the probable diagnosis in similar case in cbc if total wbc count is reduced or nearer to the normal and if the lymphocytes are increased guess the probable diagnosis a middle aged patient complaining of persistent red raised and itching rashes predominantly on arms legs and on abdomen on skin examination the lesions were multiple raised and red in color well demarcated wheels were observed on arms legs and abdomen in this patient CBC showed slightly raised WBC count and raised eosinophils. Guess the probable diagnosis. A male patient complaining of high grade fever since last 7 days along with abdominal discomfort and fatigue. On history fever began gradually with the temperature peaking in evening and associated with headache body ache loss of appetite and mild abdominal pain on examination temperature is 103 degree fahrenheit heart rate is about 80 beats per minute which is called as relative bradycardia and there is a mild tenderness in the abdomen in this patient in cbc there is a reduced wbc count and increased lymphocytes guess the diagnosis and what are the further investigations needed to confirm this diagnosis a 50 year male patient complaining of 
persistent cough since three months associated with fever, weight loss and night sweats. On examination, the general appearance is thin, pale and patient is febrile. On respiratory auscultation, there were reduced breath sounds over the upper lobe. Crackles and occasional wheezing is here. In CBC, there is a rise in WBC count. Neutrophils and lymphocytes were in the normal range, but increase in monocytes. This is an example of early stage of an, a respiratory infection. On chronic stage, there will be the drastical changes in CBC. Guess the diagnosis and comment in the comment box. A 60 year male patient complaining of persistent fatigue, fever, frequent bleeding and recurrent infections. On examination, pallor is present, temperature is 101 Fahrenheit and there is a tachycardia and the respiratory rate is normal. Petechial hemorrhages were noted on upper limbs. Nothing was significant on any other systemic examination. In CBC, there is an extreme rise in WBC count that is more than 35,000, reduced platelet counts and many variations in differential count. Guess the probable diagnosis. A 30 year female patient complaining of high grade fever, severe headache, pain beyond the eyes since 4 days, associated with muscle and joint pain, nausea and rashes since one day. On examination, patient look ill, febrile and dehydrated. Temperature is about 102 degree Fahrenheit. Heart rate is about 110 and hypotension is noted. CBC shows reduced WBC count and reduced platelet counts. Guess the probable diagnosis. What are the further investigations are needed to make the confirmation of the diagnosis? You can comment in the comment box and get the answers from the video description. These are imaginary typical case scenarios and lab reports. In real life context, a patient may present with the different signs and symptoms and there may be the many variations in lab reports. Assessments of signs and symptoms is a first step in any diagnosis. CBC is the second and the most important step in the diagnosis of most of the disorders. Diagnosis has to be confirmed by specific diagnostic investigations. In next video, we will discuss on liver function test. Thank you for watching this video. Kindly like, comment, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.